ladies and gentlemen, my name is Edson Ochoa and welcome to the first episode of LSPDFR. So today we're going to kick off this new series from Pegaso Gaming 956. But first, before we go into LSPDFR, I want to show you this, uh, this model, which is the 2015 Mustang created by Age. Download link will be in the description. So let's take a look a little bit at, at this model. It looks like pretty good. Uh, apparently he uh, downloaded the... Uh, according to the description, he converted this model from uh, Project Cars and uh, CSR2, the crew, which is an EA game. Uh, he converted it to GT GTA 5. Uh, it has different uh, modifications. The one I'm using right now is the appearance of the GT350R looks pretty sweet and magnetic and as you could also see I have I put in my custom license plate uh, which is not mine in real life but that's the one I wanted for my car magnetic 6G 6th generation now let's take a look a little bit at, at the interior right now let's look at look at the interior wow that is very nice very detailed um, very high quality uh, the only thing as you can see is that uh, my, uh, Franklin's legs go through the steering wheel but uh, that's a minor, that's a minor little issue. Look at the sound of that engine, though. Man, that is that is orgasmic, to say the least. So now that we've seen the 2015 Mustang um, model that I'm going to be using for fun, look at those back seats. It even has the stitching and everything. Sorry to see, man. Sounds really deep, really throaty. Everything works. It is beautiful. That's my dream car. So, now that we've seen the GT350R in GTA 5, let's head over to the police station to get started on this LSPDFR episode. So let's hey, take a look. Won't you come over here and let me take care of that lonely ass? No, thank you. Dude, it's green. Come on, let's go. Come on, tornado. There we go. Sheesh, when it's almost about to turn red. Ah, some people don't know how to drive. Like me! <laughs> okay, so now we have arrived at the Dar Davis Sheriff Station. Let's go ahead and park uh, Regina in one oh of these God. parking spots. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the, that's the name of, of my car, actually, Regina, from uh, Once Upon a Time. But, okay, let's go ahead and park it. All badass in reverse. Okay, so let's go ahead and get out. Come on, Franklin. There we go. Then get out so that way we can go go into the station and go on duty as a police officer. Now before we start, I just want to uh, say uh, that please forgive me if uh, some of these things aren't as legit as it should be. Um, I barely have like what three three days with a uh, LSPDFR, but I pretty much got the hang of it for the most part. But there's gonna be like for example trying to drive with the controller and the and using the keyboard, I uh, need a little bit to get used to. But hopefully, you'll enjoy this, and let's go ahead and go on duty as a police officer here at the Sheriff's Department in Davis. Looks pretty nice, actually. Okay, so when you go uh, on duty into any of the police stations, you get to choose what your, uh, your model might look like. You can do LSPDFR, Sheriff's Department, these, the Park Rangers, or the highway patrol let's go ahead and choose a highway patrol you can uh, change the the kind of head the your your top the kind of pants as well uh, it, it also depends on, on what kind of uh, department you're using they have different options for gear and for insignia as well you can also choose to have uh, sunglasses but since in first person they kind of block the view let's go ahead and not use sunglasses now we can go ahead and choose the the police cruiser that we want we have the 2015 mustang interceptor we have the also the 2015 charger and the 2012 ford police interceptor the taurus so let's go ahead and choose that one we'll go ahead and also have a ram bar installed as well as a spotlight so I really like the way that this model looks. It's pretty pretty high quality. You might you need to modify the handling a little bit so that way it won't flip over. So let's go ahead and go on Dispatch duty. Calling unit one Lincoln eighteen citizens report a driver under the influence in Ron alternate wind farm. Okay, so we have received uh, notification 
for a driver under the influence at run alternate wind farm so let's go ahead and go ahead and go code 2 over to the location make sure all of the traffic uh, pays attention and moves out of the way okay good thank you what the hell are you doing come on man let me pass Jeez, it's almost like he's drunk or something but that's not the co the car that we're looking for so let's go ahead go over here exit us route 13 and enter senora way okay let's make sure that no cars are coming in okay we're good oh that seems legit i hit the side of the cruiser fml okay so it looks like it's that silver cavalcade yep it's that guy let me go ahead let's go ahead and u-turn to try to catch up to that guy and you turn right here in this on this dirt road okay all right let's go ahead and uh, try to catch up with that uh, silver cavalcade who is driving under the influence Let's go ahead and go code 2 over there. Let's go back to US Route 13. We're about to catch up to him here, right next to the U-Tool. And there he is. There he's swerving all over the road. Let's, let's go catch up to him and uh, signal him to stop. Oh, there he is again. All right. Pull it over. Thank you. A little bit over to, to your right-hand side. Thank you. We really need to get this guy off of the roads because that is pretty much dangerous. A little bit more, a little more. There we go. Right there, that's good. Thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead and request a plate check using the police radio. For a cavalcade 80ETQ178. Target license plate. Eight zero Edward Tom Queen one seven six no. Well, when you thought you've seen it all, registered owner for this cavalcade is Marco Polo. He seems to be drunk off his ass. Let's go ahead and, and head over straight to his car. Good afternoon, sir. This is Officer Cho for the San Andreas Highway Patrol. Can I help you with something? <laughs> okay, can you have license and registration, please? Thank you so much, Mr. Marco Polo. Let me go, I'll be right back, so I go ahead and uh, check the, through the system. Alrighty then, so it is Marco Polo, the person driving this car. Let's go ahead and ch check his uh, information, make sure that he has no warrants or that his license is expired. Okay, so license is valid, no, no 1099, no active warrants. So let's go ahead and go back to his car and uh, keep on questioning the him because he is, he looks like he is drunk off his ass. What exactly are you doing? Driver actually has a full open alcohol container in the console, but he appears calm. So let's go ahead and ask him some questions. Sir, have you been drinking today? I'm refusing to answer that. Okay, let's go ahead and breathalyze him. And he has 1.74 in pro yeah, miles of alcohol man. in their blood. So I'm going to have to ask you to step out of your vehicle, please, which is about 0.174 in BAC. Because of this, we'll go ahead and go and arrest Mr. Polo for drinking and driving. Mr. Polo, I'm going to have to place you under arrest for driving under the influence. Why is it not letting me arrest him? Let me go ahead and ask for his ID. Maybe it kind of bugged out a little. Chip, um. Mr. Polo, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. Do you understand Attention your rights I have just dispatch. read to you? We are code four. No further units Okay, required. please go ahead and follow me into, into the car. Let's go ahead and open the, the back door for him. Sir, can you please get in the get car? Get in the car and don't try anything. <laughs> okay, so Marco Polo is getting into the, into the squad car in the back seat. He's going to have a long night in jail. So let's go ahead and go back to the, cap the person's cavalcade and go ahead and search the vehicle using the vehicle search mod. Press OK. So he's searching. Nothing of interest. Oh, there it is. He just got his head squished by the tailgate. Let's take a look at the driver's side. OK, let's search the driver's side. Nothing of interest as well. Let's go ahead and go over to the passenger side and see Attention if we can find anything right Lincoln there. 18. We have a traffic alert on Sonora Freeway for narcotics in transit. Nothing of interest. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and call a tow truck to pick up to impound this vehicle. Once again, using the uh, police radio mod. Let's go ahead and call. 
call for that uh, little tow truck. All right, the tow truck should be coming up. Here it is. Here's the tow truck coming. Man, that's fast service right there. Hello, sir. Let's go ahead and take this vehicle. Thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and go back with Mr. Marco Polo and call for some police transfer, transport to come pick him up from us. And here they come. Man, these these uh, these guys in Blaine County are, are really fast. Hello, officer. I got a drinker for you right here in the back seat. Thank you for thank you for coming. So that officer's taking Marco Polo uh, over there to the jail. We can go back into our car and let's call Attention it a code four, one, so we can go back 18. to patrolling Citizens U.S. Reporting. Route 13. Okay, let's just and let me just wait for the transport vehicle to, to pass us, and now we can be on our merry way to continue patrolling U.S. Route 13. Okay, that, that seems legit. What the hell's going on here? Excuse me. Uh oh, this doesn't look right. Ma'am, get back in the car. Ma'am, get back in the car, please. Ma'am, in the car. Uh oh. So it looks like shit's about to go down. Ma'am! Ma'am! Ma'am, put your hands up in the air! Ma'am! Get your hands in the air! She's got a gun! She's got a gun! Oh shit! She's getting, she's killing her! Go, go, go! The other guy's getting away! I'll take care of the other one! And she just got run over. Her body just got run over. I'll take care of the other one! Sir, this is the ASAHP! Stop where you are! Well, that seems legit. He puts his hands behind his back, but he keeps on running. Sir! Sir, stop running! Stop running! I'm gonna tackle you! Stop running! Looks like he's running back. Sir, I've already told you to stop running! Don't make me shoot you! Sir, stop running! Oh, let me go ahead and tackle you! There we go. Sir, stand it! Sir! Sir, you can do us the easy way or the hard way. What do you mean, whatever? St get on the ground! Get on the ground now! Go ahead and arrest this this suspect. Right, it, right, it seems pretty picky to where you can press this little arrest him. There we go. Sir, you're under arrest for assaulting a police officer. Okay, so now that we have Shane Young in custody, let's go ahead and request a record check for him. Shane Young. And he's valid license and no active warrants. Okay, Mr. Young. You could have let this whole thing gone by without a hitch. But thanks to your lady friend who tried to fight off that police officer as well, Assistance you now are going to jail and she's dead. Follow me over to the cruiser. Oh, looks like a police transport is already here for him. Hi, we got another one for you here. Alright, so let's go ahead and... uh. Limit the traffic speed because they're all just running over the lady's body. We don't even know who she is, but now she's dead. You know what? Man, they're gonna be crashing. You know what? Forget that. Just stop. Everybody just stop. Okay, let's go ahead and call the coroner to come pick up this body. No, I did not want the, the plate check and the check in the cavalcade. There we go. Alright, we need a coroner over here to US Route 13. Okay, and so the coroner's on their way, and the roadblock just disappeared. Oh man, I really need to get used to these controls. Go ahead, Mr. Rodriguez. Got nothing to do with you. Let's go ahead and place the roadblock again so that way people can stop uh, running over the dead body before the uh, coroner gets here. Let me go ahead and go back to my vehicle. And I guess we'll just wait for the. Uh, for the corner to arrive as well as let's go ahead and call the tow truck to pick up this cavalcade and uh, once again I pressed uh, plate check instead all right there we go looks like the corner is on their way but it looks like I need to get out of my vehicle before I call the tow truck so let me go ahead and get behind this vehicle and make sure that I'm facing uh, be uh, behind from where the uh, tow truck is gonna come out so let's go ahead and call the tow truck and oh insta spawn Insta spawn in front of the other other cruiser, so it looks like the tow truck has uh, gotten the um, the cavalcade, but they're not moving because of the roadblock. Let's go ahead and remove this roadblock now, and we should be good to be 10-4 out of this little ordeal that happened after our last uh, pullover. So we are now 10-8 on U.S. Route 13.
dispatch calling unit one Lincoln 18. We have looks like we have a report for, for a, a wanted uh, subject driving for an AMPR hit on a wanted person. Um, he is uh, accused of extreme weapon violence. So let's go see if we can catch up to that to that guy. He looks like he's taking. Uh, we have to get out here and take uh, Union Road. Let's go ahead and see if we can intercept him here. And it looks like he's coming our way. Yep, Dispatch looks like it's that white exemplar. Lincoln, Let's 18. go ahead and uh, U-turn. We'll try to catch up with that uh, exemplar. Looks, and he's going to take you as Route th uh, 13. Okay, he's stopping. Oh, traffic. Oh, this is going to be hard. Let me see if I can uh, put my light lights on so that I can uh, make sure he doesn't get away. Right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Officer coming through. He not see my lights, man. Sheesh. Excuse me. Coming through. Okay. We made it safely across, and now we're heading south. We're southbound on U.S. Route 113, trying to catch up to that uh, white exemplar. Okay. So it looks like we're near the exemplar. We're going at a slow speed. Traffic is going really slow. Let's go ahead and uh, call for a plate check on this uh, white exemplar catch up a little bit again it's, it's the thing about the police radio you have to be at a specific distance for it to work okay so eight nine boy john king five three three let's see what what comes up on this plate suspect license plate eight nine boy john king five three three just as i thought felony warrant for the registered owner let's go ahead and uh, pull him over let's see if, he, if he'll want to be Oh, looks like he's not stopping. Looks like we're going to have to go chase him. Slow speed right now. He's actually stopped. Um, we need a, we need some code breeze over here to try to get him. Sir, stop your vehicle. Oh, no, he's running. Jeez, one of the things that I've noticed about LSPDFR and the, not, that I've already started is like, if he doesn't, if it doesn't stop after a certain amount of time, it takes it like he's uh, running away. Let me see if I can try to, uh, to uh, signal him to stop once again. And I mean, it's annoying because when you go to the to the backup menu, it doesn't show as a pursuit yet, so it, you can't get any uh, any backup to help you with the pursuit. You get code threes, but he just goes to the where you do the call. It doesn't actually help with the pursuit. So let me try and go ahead and signal him to pull over. Sir, pull your vehicle over. Thank you. Okay, so let me go ahead and move him over to the side of the road using Albo 1125's traffic policer mod. Go ahead and uh, place the marker over to the uh, shoulder. Make sure that there's no oncoming traffic that'll crash into him. Ugh, the marker reset itself, so now I have to, uh, to use. Let's go ahead and use the mimic mod. Try to get him uh, quickly out of the way. Sir, get on the shoulder, please. Thank you. A little bit more, a little bit more. There we go. Thank you. Just go ahead and uh, move back in the shoulder. Thank you, sir. Okay, so now I guess we'll use the uh, we we'll use the marker again to try to get him a little bit more to the uh, side of the street. All right, thank you, sir. Okay, so we have the white e exemplar pulled over, but since he does have a felony warrant, let me go ahead. Let's go ahead and call for some uh, backup to, uh, over here from the state in, the state uh, patrol. Grande Sonora Desert. All right. let's go ahead. Respond code two. Okay, before I, before I go towards the suspect, let me go ahead and uh, get my my kit from from the uh, from the trunk. Let me get some weapons, armor, and a med kit. Okay, let's go ahead and pull out our gun on him. Sir, step out of the vehicle, please. Get out of the vehicle now. He's taking out a weapon. He's taking out a weapon. Oh, shit. It was just a taser. Fuck. Police brutality at its finest. Okay, was there? I think there was a passenger. Okay. Oh, there he is. There he is. Sir, sir, don't get inside the vehicle. No, no. Get out of the vehicle. Get out of the vehicle. Now. Put your hands up in the air. No, don't get in the vehicle. Get out. Sir, we can do this the easy way. We can do this the hard way. Okay, looks like he's finally complied. 
Well, it seems legit. Let's go through the through the car. So now we have Mr. Arthur Kane in custody. Let's go ahead and call a coroner for his friend right over there who decided to take out a taser on us because apparently he didn't want to go down without a fight. No way. Okay, so we, we, the coroner should be here in a little bit. Let's go ahead and look up uh, Arthur Kane's information. And he is valid license, no active warrants. We have traffic Let's go ahead, sir. Come, come over here, Mr. Kane, and box. sit down while they search the vehicle. So we search the trunk. Nothing of interest. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and check the, the passenger Roger. side. We're heading over now, but sir. Sir, I need for you to uh, s uh, sit down over here, please, off the road. Sir, follow me. I guess you'll just sit there. I guess. Okay, let's go ahead and search the, the passenger side. There we go. Nothing of interest as well. Attention unit 1, Lincoln 18. Yes, we we'll, let's go ahead and check out the driver's on, side. Um, we don't find anything. We're going to just call uh, for, uh, for the tow truck to come pick up this uh, exemplar. Nothing of interest. And it looks like Dispatch. the corners are, have made it over here. So let's go ahead and call for a tow truck for the, for this uh, white exemplar. We're going. We're done with anything. I've got enough pictures. Attention Time stamp. Unit one, Lincoln, eighteen. We and have he's put in a body bag. What a shame. I hear Albo one 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 two five updated his mods again. My bandwidth is starting to run out. Assistance Tell me about it. All right, so we'll go ahead and, and call a prisoner transport North North for Arthur North Kane. One. We can get that. And they're here already. Hello. Hi. We got, we got somebody here for you. You suck! Hey, it's my first time playing LSPDFR, okay? Give me a chance. Jeez, I, I swear, you get out of the academy and everybody cheats you like crap. Oh well. Where the hell is... Thank you. Where the hell is the tow truck? Is it stuck? I guess we're gonna have to call the tow truck using the uh, traffic policer. And he's, uh, he's coming this way. So got... Just be careful with the, the mm. transport van. Oh, Screw there we go. You. Well, alrighty then. This caused a bunch of crashes, and he just caused a, uh, a car to be on fire. I guess now we can be cold for off of this and 10 8. Where's my car? Ah, uh, great. Okay, so we're here near the, uh, the prison. Uh, shooting some radar here uh, on the uh, on the highway. Kind of slow day. It's uh, early in the morning. Okay. Patriot. That's the tow truck. Nothing. Oh, that Washington was going 74. 14 over the limit. Let's go ahead and uh, catch up to that guy. Uh, sorry about that, nine uh, nine F driver. Okay, so we caught up with uh, with this uh, Washington over here. Let's go ahead and uh, request a plate check. No. Nope. Well, I guess let me go ahead and go into uh, first person mode. Oh, there we go. On the baller. Come on, that's not what I wanted. I wanted the the Washington. Because I am gonna have to do it in first person. Six, seven, and the owner of that baller has an expired license, but uh, what I care about right now is this uh, speeding from Washington, who now has to be going slow behind this tow truck. So let's go ahead and signal the, the driver of this uh, Washington to go ahead. Four, three, boy, Frank, Owner's ocean, license five, is also expired three, for uh, uh, Daryl Freeman. All right, he pulled over. Let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, move him over to the to the side of the shoulder. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't crash into any of the oncoming traffic over here. You know what? I'm actually gonna let's go ahead and sound the horn on him, make him move a little bit more forward, and then from there we can uh, we can move more to the to the side of the road. I think up to where that that tree is should be fine. Hopefully, he doesn't crash into oncoming traffic. Uh, looks so far so good. He's uh, he's doing real well. He's turning over towards the shoulder. Now we can use the uh, mimic mod to straighten him out. A little bit more. Thank you. That's good enough. All right. So let's go ahead and park behind them, so we can make contact with the driver to see why he's in such a hurry this early in the morning. Although I'm pretty sure that I know why. Hello. So this is Officer Ochoa from the SAHP. How are you doing this fine morning? Hey. May I have your license Keep registration, on. please? Keith, 
Okay, he's giving me his ID. And his name is Daryl Freeman. Yep, that's him. Let's go ahead and uh, search uh, his, uh, his records on the database. Daryl Freeman. Alright, let's see what we get back. License is expired. Hmm, I guess I guess it was right. And no active warrants. Let's go ahead and make contact back with him. And tell him about his expired license. Hello, Mr. Freeman. Uh, just to let you know that your license is expired. So that'll probably be a, a, a fine. Full open alcohol container in the console. That's not good. It's early in the morning. Wow. Sir, why do you have an open alcohol container? You know that's illegal. Have you been drinking? Yes. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, breathalyze him. Oh, damn, I put the drugalyzer instead first. Well, at least we know he's negative in with uh, cannabis and cocaine. Now we can breathalyze him. 0.97 pro yeah, miles of alcohol man. in the blood. Yeah, that's over the limit. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to step out of whatever, your vehicle. Dude. What do you mean, whatever? Yeah. Mr. Freeman, you're under arrest for drinking and driving. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say cannot will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. Do you understand your rights? I have just read you. Now follow me to the back of, your, of the car. Sir, get in the vehicle, please. Get into the cruiser. Mr. Freeman, you're making this harder for both of us. Please just get yeah, inside get in of the, the vehicle. Car. Thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, search this vehicle. We know he does have a uh, full open alcohol container in here. Let's go ahead and check the driver's side door. Okay. Nothing of interest. Let's check the trunk. Do it slowly and sneakily. Okay, let's check the trunk. It's work for you. Nothing of interest as well. Let's check the passenger side. And we found a weapon. Things aren't looking good. Aren't looking good for you, Mr. Freeman. Let's go ahead and now. Let's go ahead and uh, call a tow truck for this vehicle. Come pick them up. And looks like they're on their way. Yes, it's for the Washington. There we go. Well, that was quick. That white tow truck. And the tow truck's taking the, the that Washington away. So we're code four off this, and let's take Mr. Freeman over to the Sandy Shores Jail. Sheesh, it's an early in the morning and is already drinking. Man, I'm telling you, like, I know it's uh, Dia de los Borrachos in Mexico, but man, this is ridiculous. It's, it's like 8 in the morning or something like that. Okay, let's go ahead and cross over to the northbound lanes, and let's head over to Sandy Shores. Okay, so we're approaching the Sandy Shores Sheriff Station to go ahead and drop off uh, Mr. Daryl Freeman over to the jail so that way he can be booked for drinking and driving awaiting his trial Okay, where do I park? Oh, the parking spaces are to my left. All right, let's go ahead and so go right. over here Let's park and here we go Now it's asking me do I take Daryl in and uh, let's go ahead and have another officer come for Mr. Freeman and he's coming over here Mr. Freeman's getting out and now he will be sent uh, to jail to think tell about what about he has it. done. Oh yeah, tell me about it, man. Okay, so it looks like this guy just stole this uh, F-620 from Sandy Shores. I find that kind of weird, but anyways. He stole this F-620, so let's go ahead and uh, catch up to him. Looks like he's taking a left here in Chola Springs Avenue. And he's showing no, sign and no signs of stopping. It's like we're, it looks like we're in a little pursuit. Okay, turning right on Panorama Drive. And, uh, oh man. Turning, okay, so left on uh, Marina Drive. And now he's turning left again on Lesbos Lane. Still no signs of stopping. Turning uh, right here, uh, left here on Algonquin Boulevard. Let's go ahead and uh, signal him, see if he stops. Oh, looks like he stopped. Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, we're right here next to the abandoned motel. Let's go ahead and tell him to pull over into the entrance of the motel. Sir, go ahead and pull over into the entrance of the motel, please. Thank you. All right, so let's go ahead and see what's going on with this guy. Uh, okay. A little bit further in, please. Thank you. There we go. That should be fine. Now we can go ahead and park behind him and uh, check his license plate. See what uh, comes back to him. 
But let's go ahead and call for uh, We've got an uh, some uh, code 2 backup. In uh, Sandy Shores. Let's go ahead and approach Response the uh, suspect and request the play check on this vehicle. So the pl license plates are 29 George Boy Charles 549 on an F620. Okay, so let's go ahead and speak to this uh, suspect right over here. Let's go ahead and insult him. Target license plate. Can I help you with something? Two, nine, George hey, please Boy, give me your Charles license and registration. Okay. Stolen vehicle. Awesome. Kyle, so Kyle Mason is the original owner of this vehicle. And this is not Kyle Mason. This is Alan Wellington. Thank you. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's go ahead and look up. Alan Washington. Oh, Welling. I mean Wellington. All right. So he comes back. License valid. No after gift warrants, sir. Mr. Wellington and I would have to ask you to step out of your vehicle, please. Thank you so much, Mr. Wellington. You do realize that this vehicle is not registered to you and has been flagged as stolen. So you're under arrest for ca carjacking. All right. Uh, please follow me over here to my uh, police cruiser. Oh, there goes a coyote. All right, let's go ahead and open the back door for him. All right, sir, get in the vehicle, get please. Get in the car and don't try anything. Yeah. All right, so since this is a stolen vehicle, I think we should uh, go ahead and search. Search it. All righty then. Let's go ahead and twerk a little bit for the interior. And nothing of interest. Ah, oh, there you have it. I just tripped over a closing door. That's just great. I hope the dash cam they didn't get that. Okay, let's check the trunk. And nothing of interest either. Let's check the passenger side. Probably wondering why I'm not uh, I'm not uh, doing the engine, but that's probably that's because most of the time when they do a full-on search, nothing of interest. That's usually back when it's being impounded, not uh, out on the field. So let's go ahead and call a tow the insurance company actually this time since this is a stolen vehicle to come uh, pick up uh, the car. Okay, so Morse Mutual, two of our employees are en route to pick up our client's F620. It looks like they're here. Wow, really, really quick. Over here, guys. Guys, where, where are you going? Well, that's, what, they're, oh great, they're heading away. What, what? You good? Insta spawn right into my police vehicle. Really guys, seems legit, but looks like they're here to, ready to pick up the F620, so we can now be code 4 off of this call, let's go ahead and drop this guy over to the Sandy Shores Jail, which is just uh, co uh, two blocks away from us. Alright, so thank you for letting us collect our client's F620. Okay, so, so pretty much this, this uh, will wrap up today's episode of LSPDFR. I mean, I know I have a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of things to get better at, especially in, with my driving. But honestly, I've been, I've enjoyed playing uh, GTA 5 with LSPDFR and that tornado disappeared. So let's go ahead and park. And this time we're going to actually bring him in uh, ourselves into the cell. Alrighty then. Let's go ahead. Damn. Follow me, Mr. Wellington. Okay, so let's go ahead and place him in this second cell right over here. Follow me inside, Mr. Wellington. Over here. Thank you. Okay, so he's already inside the cell. And we'll go ahead and walk out of the station. Oh, shots fired, shots fired. Don't know where, but there are shots being fired outside of the police station. And these guys are acting like nothing's going on. Wow. Okay, so this wraps up today's episode of LSPDFR. I hope you enjoyed it. I mean, I know I do have a lot of things that I have to get better at. Wow, this view is amazing. But I hope, hopefully, as I get more experience while, while playing more LSPDFR, I can give uh, better quality. So with that said, have a good Friday and take care, everybody. See you next time on LSPDFR.